All right, I want to give a video <clears throat> look over on the Chevy Love 1979. Um, try to get all the, the details here. Uh, the, the grill here is in good shape. Um, all the lights work. Um, there is a slight little bend in this front bumper, but very, very minor. Um, there is a unfortunate rust spot here behind the fender that I mentioned. Um, there's a little bit of surface rust here and um, around the vehicle, but the fender is the only real, uh, I would say, bad rust. Um, the tires are new when I got the truck, uh, so they got about 15,000 miles on it. Uh, these tail lights I had to replace with replicas. Um, again, like I said, all lights work. Um, there is a spare tire, uh, which is in pretty decent shape down here. Um, and it has a tool right here, a steel tool for lowering that down. Another spare tire here. This tire is no good, really, but uh, but the wheel is good. Um, there was a little fender bender here at some point. Um, and so the back bumper sits just a teeny bit low. I tried to bend that back, but I wasn't able to. Someone with better tools might be able to. Um, I did <coughs> rewire all the rear uh, electrical, uh, including fuel pump, basically got a, a wire uh, that comes from under the hood, um, all new all the way back. Um, I mentioned in the listing as well that I replaced the fuel lines. Oh, and the brake lines that I was mentioning. You can see the front one a little better, I think. Um, is here so these have all been replaced all the emblems are here here's the other uh, unfortunate rust spot <coughs> um, interior uh, glove box um, so the dash was in really bad shape so I did do some little patchwork and then put a cover on it um, I have no idea if this shelf was original or not, but it's there. Unfortunately, there was kind of a hole here in the dash, which I covered up with a piece of stainless steel. Um, this had the AM radio, um, which didn't work. Uh, so I replaced it with something I thought would be a little more useful since I used it for a daily driver for a little while. Um, the mileage, you know, since it's only, uh, five digits. I don't really know what the real mileage is. Um, there is a, a crack that goes through the windshield uh, in a few places. You can still get these windshields. Um, I just never did. Uh, door panels, um, like I said, they were in terrible, terrible shape. So I replaced them with these birch um, uh, pieces of plywood. Uh, the visor is missing. Uh, they were missing when I got it. Um, and there was some sort of headliner that was original to the truck, uh, but that was all gone other than the steel, uh, beams that went across. Um, so I just put s some headliner up here and I've got an extra roll of it that I'll send with the truck, uh, in case you have to do it again. Uh, put brand new seat belts in there because the old ones didn't, weren't really retracting very well. Um, the vinyl isn't original. Um, it is in good shape. There's no tears or anything in it, um, but it's not, not original. <clears throat> um, heater works. Vent fan works fantastic. I'll fire that up in a minute. Um, the only weird thing is it doesn't want to switch between heater and vent super easy sometimes you have to jigger it back there in the back but it does switch back and forth um okay let me 
uh, windshield wipers. I mean, everything works. I've, like I said, I've used it as a daily driver, had it inspected, everything passes. Um, lights work, high beams work, hazards work. Um, the windshield washer fluid doesn't work. Um, I don't even, it definitely hadn't worked in a while. Um, so I replaced uh, the carburetor with a Weber uh, conversion. Um, I added the uh, radiator overflow, replaced hoses and those kind of typical things under here. Um, I did uh, replace the master cylinder. Um, there's your little fuse box. Um, I added a switch here. So since I didn't always drive it real regularly, extra fuel filter here. Um, again, like I said, those all new fuel lines uh, going back. Um, radiator's good, alternator's good. Um, uh, added an extra ground wire just to make sure we were getting really good ground uh, to the engine because um, it fluctuated a little bit when I got it. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, just a few things that I'm going to send with the truck, um, extra fluid, extra oil. Um, these are the headline headliner, uh, bars that were there. This is a heater hose, um, cause the heater hose looks a little rough, but, um, and I was going to replace it, just never got around to it. Uh, these are replacement window seals from Rock Auto. Uh, extra fuel lines. Um, the original carburetor, original air intake, the original seat belts. Um, actually, the one uh, visor <laughs> that was there, but I think had been remade. I don't think it was original anyway. Uh, so I ended up just taking it off. <clears throat> Um, and let me fire it up so you can see how it runs. Okay. Oh, I also replaced the locks, um, because they didn't, um, have the right key. All right, it fires right up. See all the gauges work there. Runs real smooth. Um, it, you know, of course it's an older engine, so it needs to be occasionally tuned and um, check your timing and all those kind of typical things. But we got it. Engine running. It runs real quiet. Um, So yeah, it runs really well. And uh, that is it. Uh, had the brakes checked out, they're good. At least they were when I had them checked. Um, and that is it. Thanks for checking it out.